Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to a new episode from your beloved channel Linguamid. Today we have a very important episode about a movie scene uh, from the movie Asal Eswad or Black Honey. Uh, in this short movie scene, we will analyze together spoken Egyptian conversation and we will get into detail with each phrase and each word. So let's start right now. Let's go. This is about Masri. Uh, he's an Egyptian guy who has been living in the States for a long time and also has uh, the American nationality. And he decided to uh, return back to Egypt and live there. And um, he faced some bureaucracies and some difficult situations, especially when he lost uh, his American passport and had to deal with the Egyptian passport. Uh, so it's a comedy, uh, but we could say um, also a dark comedy when he found some situations that are unpleasant for him and uh, that he was not expecting in Egypt. Okay, so this scene um, is about uh, returning to his own let's say building or his own family uh, house and his own street and his pleasure and his happiness when he found that the street is there and also the, the, the building is there. Um, and he remembered uh, where exactly the building is after all these years. So let's start and let's analyze this scene together. So our first phrase here is So he is uh, pointing uh, to his own street and uh, knew that uh, this is our street. Shari'na is shari is a street and Shari'na is our street and he's talking to um, a driver uh, who accompanied him with in this journey and they became friends. Uh, so he is telling him that this is our street. I can remember the Shari'na Aho and Aho it means this. Okay, from Huwa he okay so aho we say it in egyptian this and ahi we say it also but for female okay or for uh, feminine so when you point uh, point to something masculine we say aho and when you point to something feminine you say ahi the driver his name is radi responded and he is suspecting that this is right and he or is correct. He is uh, responding to him and say, are you sure? Inta muta'akid? Are you sure? Inta muta'akid? We hear muta'akid again. Masri replies, taban muta'akid. Taban muta'akid. And he uh, here in this context repeats Taban uh, two times. Taban taban muta'akid. And Egyptians usually use this repetition in order to emphasize, okay, to make emphasis. So taban taban it means yes, certainly, sure, I am uh, sure, okay. So sure, this is the street that I am talking about. I can't believe it. Thank God. Yalla, ruh ba, ruh bsorah. Yalla ba, nruh bsorah hinek. Okay. Yalla ba, nruh bsorah hinek. Yalla, this is. Uh, a very important word that you may hear from Egyptians a thousand times. So, yalla, here it is, let's go. Okay, yalla, nilab, let's play. Yalla, niktib, let's write. Yalla, nzaker, let's study. Yalla, nsafer, let's, let's travel. Okay, so yalla, let's. Okay, yalla. And yalla, ruh ba'a. Ruh, ruh is the imperative of yiruh, yiruh to go. So, ruh, then go. He orders him or he requests that he go. Okay, yalla ruh ba'a. Yalla ruh ba'a besorah neck. Okay, besorah is fast. Okay, yalla ruh ba'a besorah. So go fast. Let's go fast. And hinek, hinek, it means there. Here is hina. Here is hina in Egyptian or in Arabic. And hinek in Egyptian or hunek in Morrison Arabic is there. Okay, and the ba'a is one of the filling words okay filling words so it has no meaning but just we say it in the in the middle of the speech okay like you know something like this in in in, in american but it's a filling word okay to know more about the filling words and all this don't forget to check uh, the description box below and uh, see the egyptian arabic accelerator course where i offer complete uh, Zoom sessions and I um, uh, talk about all these uh, feeling words 
and all the components of the Egyptian uh, dialect in Zoom weekly Zoom sessions. So check the link below in the description box. Okay. <laughs> This is our street. Okay, it's the same as a ho. Okay, so a ho or ho da, they are synonyms. You can use both interchangeably. So ho da, this is, or a ho, this. Ho da is shara abtana. Shara is street, and the abtana is belongs to us. Okay, belongs to us. As I um, uh, explained in detail in my course, so bta or bta'na belongs to us. Okay, so for example, shara bta'i, this is my street. Okay, my street. Huwa da shara bta'na, this is our street. So na here is our, uh, the pronoun, our. Okay, shara bta'na. And bta'na, it means that our family. Okay, this is the street that belongs to our family. Okay, so we know بتاعنا because the شارع is masculine, so it became بتاعنا. Okay, but if the thing he is referring to is feminine, instead of بتاعنا, he says بتاعتنا. Okay, so العمارة here or the building is feminine, so he's saying أهو or دي دي this دي العمارة بتاعتنا. This is our building. This is the building that belongs to us. العمارة بتاعتنا. أهي. Okay, so again, أهو is for masculine. أهي is feminine. So, دي العمارة بتاعتنا. هي. It means this is our building. Okay, this is our building. And then he add this is, which is أهي, again at the end in order to emphasize. We have a complex sentence, so we will break it down. So, أنا أنسى أي حاجة في الدنيا. أنا أنسى. So, أنا is I, and the أنسى is from the verb ينسى, which is to forget. أنا أنسى, I forget. I forget. أي حاجة في الدنيا. حاجة is think. Okay, think. So, something. حاجة. Okay, أي حاجة, anything. أي حاجة, anything. And I also explain حاجة and what comes after it in my premium course as well. Forget, don't forget to look at the description box and see the features of this course in the first uh, link. Good. So, أنا أنسى أي حاجة. أنا أنسى أي حاجة في الدنيا. في الدنيا, it means in the world. So, I forget anything in the world. أنا أنسى أي حاجة. في الدنيا or في الدنيا we say it both the same في الدنيا or في الدنيا أكيد أنا أنسى أي حاجة في الدنيا إلا إلا العمارة اللي أنا لعبت فيها العمارة إلا العمارة اللي أنا لعبت فيها إلا here it means except for except for إلا العمارة except for the building except for the building that I played at okay so the building he was raised in this building Okay, he was raised and he used to play in this building when he was a kid. So he says, so except for this building that I was raised at or that I played at. So إلا العمارة, except for the building, that I played at. إلا العمارة إلي لعبت فيها. Here that, it means إلي. إلي, that, to explain. Okay, so, so it's an explanatory article. إلي, which is, or that... لعبت فيها I played at إلا إلا العمارة اللي أنا لعبت فيها وتربيت وأنا صغير يا راضي تربيت فيها So here I continue the phrase وتربيت فيها وأنا صغير يا راضي So وتربيت it means I was raised I was raised تربيت From the verb be تربى To mean to be raised So it's uh, it's uh, not uh, an, uh, to be raised So it's um, a passive, okay? So it's a passive, passive verb. To be raised, it rabbit, okay? Somebody raised me, rabbani, okay? It rabbit, my father, my mother raised me. So, okay, so it rabbit. Illa al-amara illi al-abti fiha, wit rabbit fiha. So I was raised in it, okay? Wa ana sughayr, it means when, uh, where, when I was 
kid or when I was little. Okay, so غير here from صغير in Morrison Arabic, which means little or small or uh, young. Okay, so oh, wow. Thank you so much. Then Radi will reply with impatience. So he's not patient with him. He's angry with him because he has been traveling with him a lot without finding the destination. So he has no patience more. And he just said, We are Etek Macbert. We are Etek Macbert. He's kidding. And he said, I wish you haven't grown. Okay? Grown up. I wish you haven't grown up. We are Etek Macbert. Yarit here it means I wish. We say in Egypt, in Egyptian, Yarit, I hope, I wish. Okay, Yarit, Yarit kunt gani, for example. I wish I was rich. Okay, so Yarit, Yarit, I wish. So Yaritak it means I wish that you. Yarit tak, and this k is you. Yaritak, I wish that you, okay, haven't grown up. Yaritak mak birt. Ma kibirt. Ma here is for to to make it negative, the negation. Ma, and then kibirt is the past tense of yekbar to grow, to grow up. Okay, yekbar. So kibirt grew up or grown up. So haven't grown up kibirt. Okay. So I wish you haven't grow up, grown up. It means yaretek ma kibirt. Man, okay. Take it easy. Ah, oh, This is the last um, phrase. Masri looks at the sign on the building and it says Shara Bustan il Mahamiz. Bustan it means garden. And the Mahamiz, I don't know exactly what is the meaning of Mahamiz. So it is just like a plural in Egyptian of many figures. Each figure is called Mahmuz or the singular. Mahmuz, 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 and the plural called Mahamiz. Okay, so he looks at this sign and is wondering, okay, Bustan al Mahamiz, does it mean that Garden of al Mahamiz means that all the people are living here are, are Mahamiz? He doesn't know, has been in the States for a long time, doesn't know what, what is this. It is strange for him, and just he's saying it out wondering, okay? So it means here, Yani, Yani, it, does it mean, so when I say Yani, it means does it mean, does it mean, Eli Saknin. We have Eli here again. The Eli. Yani that. Yani or those. Those who are living here or, or residing here. Saknin. Sakin re resident. And Saknin is a plural of resident. Residence. So Saknin. This is a plural of Sakin. Okay? Sakin, Saknin. Residence. Yani li Saknin hena. So, so, or this means that the residents who are here are called the Mahamis, are called Mahamis. Okay, that was it. I, I hope that it was not difficult for you and that you came to know the exact meaning of the words and the phrases that are there in the conversation and know what's meant by the figures. Uh, if you have any uh, trouble, don't forget to uh, post me a comment or write me a comment down there and tell me which part you found difficult and I will be glad to explain it further for you. Also, don't, don't forget to look at the description box below and look at the important links. Uh, join my free course, Egyptian Arabic 101, which gi gives you the fundamental uh, knowledge that you need in uh, spoken Egyptian. You will find the link in the description box below and also in the first comment. Don't forget also to share if you like this uh, content and also subscribe to the channel and like this video and also take a look at my social media, especially my Instagram account. You will find all the information in the uh, description box below. Thanks a lot and see you in a future episode.